as you can see right off the bat, this is a beautifully reimagined version of Kohalent Island. Um, it, it looks like a, a clay diorama come to life, honestly. Um, there's a beautiful, sorry, I had to break the pot. Mm -hmm. It's over now. He's just yeah. chowing <laughs> down on the just bananas. Had to. I know. <laughs> um, but I, I love this beautiful tilt shift uh, visual effect we've got going. Oh, There's it's kind gorgeous. of an ethereal haze off. Uh, on the corners of the screen so it's just a really lovely reimagining of this classic game and since we're lucky enough to have aonuma san here i was hoping uh, perhaps you could tell us a little bit about uh, the creation of this art style and why it was chosen uh, to reimagine Kohalent Island. And so actually this game, I wasn't actually involved in the creating it. I was just a player playing this game. で、その時、あの、その当時ね、ゲームボーイで遊んでるわけですけど、あの、このゲームボーイの小さなこのそんな感じのイメージになるように、えっと、グラフィックを考えてみました。And so when I played it on the original Game Boy version, uh, it was on this small screen, and it felt like a small world, but very vast as well. And so it was kind of had this tilt shift perspective, and so that's why I thought this miniature diorama-like art style would be perfect for this uh, game. It, it really is the perfect way to bring this world to life. And, uh, oh, uh, oh, oh, I no. didn't mean it. I'm sorry, <laughs> much. I didn't mean that. I only mean to hit Kukos. <laughs> so, Don't um, do that either. Oh, I disagree. <laughs> we careful. hard disagree on that point. Um, so I'm going into the Chindi game shop here, and uh, even fans who played the original game are going to notice a little bit of a difference here because there are actual real crane physics going on here. So I'm going to try my best to get this Yoshi figure, but the it's pretty difficult with the crane. <laughs> yeah, the crane physics make this a lot more fun, I think. And uh, speaking of Yoshi... It's looking good. <laughs> oh, I might... Oh, yeah, Am I going to It's looking it pretty good. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, it slipped almost. out. That was so close. <laughs> <laughs> so close. I know. But uh, speaking of Yoshi, that's not uh, a face that you usually see in Zelda games. Um, so since we have Dan here, who worked on the original localization of the game, perhaps you could just really quickly... Uh, I want to ask Dan what it's, <laughs> it was like to see a Mario face in a Zelda game for the first time. Well, I was surprised as anyone. <laughs> um, you know, I think uh, the, the team was trying to create sort of an otherworldly atmosphere and bringing in some things that would make people kind of wonder, you know, what's going on here? Yeah. And I think that adds to the mystery of the story and, and is really like uh, a great feature of this game. And I think... Uh, really makes it feel like a different world. Yeah. Absolutely, it really does. And um, like we said, this is a true, I'm gonna try and get that heart one more time. I won't make people watch <laughs> me fail over you and over again. You got plenty of rupees. I do. Just keep going. But um, <laughs> this really is a truly classic Zelda game um, brought to life. So I was hoping Al numa san could tell us uh, oh, no. what it was like returning to a more traditional <laughs> Zelda game after working on uh, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So Breath of the Wild is completed now. Again, can you talk about the traditional Zelda game about the traditional Zelda game? This game was created 26 years ago, so now it's been a long time for it to be able to play it. I thought it would be remake to remake it. And so the original Game Boy version was released 26 years ago, so it's a little bit hard to get your hands on the original game. So I've always wanted to remake this title. And we're so, so very glad that he did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I talked to a guy now. Oh. Now, why is it now? It's like the Zelda's traditional game that has been changed and changed in the past. It's like the Breath of the Wild and it's like the Breath of the Wild. It's like the Breath of the Wild and it's like the Breath of the Wild and it's like the Zelda game. And so, why now, you might ask? It's just because we thought, well, Breath of the Wild broke the convention of Zelda. And now, because ev a lot of people have played Breath of the Wild, they could go back to something, a more traditional Zelda, like Link's Awakening. And we hope that this gameplay will be fresh for people. Mm -hmm. 
It, it absolutely feels brand new. I've played Link's Awakening probably a million times, but th <laughs> this feels like a brand new game. It's, it's absolutely oh, yeah. delightful. And so um, now that I somehow managed to get that Yoshi doll out of that <laughs> crane game, I'm going to chop all the grass in the world. No, I'm not really. Um, uh, this Yoshi doll is actually a part of a pretty um, vast trading quest in this right. game. So I'm going to go into this house, which I love looking around. There's so many little <laughs> details in this house. There's like chopped up piece of fruit on that cutting board, uh, all those little beds in a row. I love how toys. they're all bunched up together. Yeah. Uh -huh. I suppose if you want to get into the one at the very end, you have to get in the first one and just roll <laughs> all the way over. Absolutely. So before I do this lady a favor, yeah. I didn't mean to throw that at her baby. <laughs> She's holding a baby. Yeah. I didn't mean to throw that at her baby, but I'm doing her a solid here, so it's fine. <laughs> And to break her pots, throw things at her baby, and then give her a Yoshi doll. Yeah, okay, yeah. fair trade, I suppose. <laughs> Absolutely. And so in exchange for that, I got a ribbon, and then I can exchange the ribbon with someone else in this world. So everybody wins. So I know uh, that Audrey touched on it a little bit earlier with Dan, but Dan, you did work on the original localization for this title. Um, oh. Yeah, and, and this world is filled with all kinds of different charming and quirky characters. And, and I was wondering if uh, you had any a particular favorite. <laughs> it's really hard to pick a favorite because there's so many. Um, I was trying to think of a good answer for this, and the only one I could remember was that alligator named Sale. Oh, yeah. Yes. How you think. <laughs> right? I don't know why he stuck in my mind, but I just thought it was very funny that there was an alligator named Sale who would sell you things. <laughs> <laughs> but I want, uh, I'm curious what Aonuma-san's favorite characters yeah, are. Aonuma-san's favorite character is who? はい、そこに今画面にいますけど。ワンワンっていうね、あの、えっと、マリオに出てくるキャラクターですけど、本当にあの、ネタバレになっちゃうんであんまり言えないですけど、すごい活躍をしてくれて、もう僕はずっとこ
あとキャラクターもすごく個性的で。あのまあ、ちょっとコミカルなんですけどでもこうじ,じんわりとこうあの感動させられるようなシーンもあったりしてその世界観がすごくあの好きであの私はこの後あのゼルダを作っていくことになりますけどこの作品にはあの随分あの影響を受けたように思います。And so,、um, the characters also are very memorable. They're lively, they're comical, but they also bring tears to your eyes, you know? And so,、um, a lot of that influenced what,、uh, what I had to do when I was developing Zelda going forward. Absolutely. And、uh, you may have seen a second ago, I was using my shield. I want to point out that a huge、uh, UI improvement of this game is that your sword, shield, things like your power bracelet,、uh, Pegasus boots are always equipped,、uh, which is a huge improvement on the original because that frees up、uh, your Y and X button for whatever else you want to equip, and it just makes things a lot easier. And that's one of the things I really love about this version of the game is that it's It retains the classic feel and personality of the original, but with the just perfectly refined UI of modern Zelda games, which、yeah. is really, really cool to see. And one last thing I'm going to point out here in Maybe Village <laughs> is、uh, we see Dompe's shack mentioned on、yeah. this sign. And that's kind of interesting because Dompe was not originally in this game.、Yeah. And what is he doing in this game? I'm not going to tell you, but we're going <laughs> to tell you a little bit later in this segment. Just a little bit of a tease. But、uh, I think I've explored Maid Village enough, and I'm going to go ahead and show us a little something else. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Full of, full of secrets on this day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is awesome. Yeah, we're very, very excited to announce that the Color Dungeon is indeed in this version of the game.、Um, this, uh, the Color Dungeon was first introduced in the DX version from、uh, the Game Boy Color, and this is the complete version、uh, of this. So, as I said, we're very, very happy to confirm that the Color Dungeon is in this game. Right. Color may be not quite as novel as it was <laughs> on the Game Boy Color, but still really neat to see that all of the content of that DX version is, is represented here. Absolutely. And as you can see, these camo goblins kind of sink into the ground in their various colors. And as you can see, I'm going to break you the pots. You have to break pots. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Because we're playing a Zelda game. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your patience, Aonuma san, while,、yeah. I, while I break all these pots. <laughs> so,、uh, this is a puzzle.、Uh, I'm not going to go too far into this dungeon. I don't want to spoil it for everybody. But basically, you hit these switches, and it changes the、uh, switches next to them. I've played this about a billion times, so I know, I know well, what I'm doing here. What, you know what to do here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And I'm not going to go too much farther, but I would be remiss as a Zelda fan if I let this clearly bombable wall pass me. All、up. right. So、yeah. it's got cracks in it. It makes a different sound when you hit it with your sword. It's begging to be bombed. So I'm going to go ahead and, and do it justice. Oblige. Boom. <laughs> and I'm rewarded with a room full、Oof. of rupees, which is one of the best things in the world. Please、Let's、collect them. To be honest, all. <laughs> I'm going to get them all. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> We can go about our business. Da na na na. <laughs> I'll stop being a nerd now and just get the rest of the rupees. <laughs> all right, and、uh, that was all I'm going to show you of the color dungeon.、Uh, as I said, it's just kind of a sneak peek. And now we're going to show you something that's brand new to the game. Take that, it away, Sam. That's right. So we saw this in the Nintendo Direct. But there was a, a new little bit that was added to the <laughs> Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening for Nintendo Switch. So, just as the color dungeon was brand new content for the DX version, what we've got here for the, for the Nintendo Switch version is called the Chamber Dungeon.、Mm -hmm. And just to give you an idea of where we are in the world here,、uh, we're in Taltal Heights, and we're、uh, right, least just slightly to the east here of this Moblin hideout. We see、uh, this new location. And、uh, this is something that uh, uh, DX players might recognize as being、uh, the camera hut, but, but in this game, it's something brand new. It looks like a shack. Yeah, it looks a little <laughs> bit like a shack, and it's filled with our friend Dompe here. <laughs> He was looking for an adventuring assistant, too. Right,、yes. yeah. <laughs> so, this is something that I actually wanted to ask Anuma san about, about the introduction of Dompe into the world of Link's Awakening. He wasn't, he wasn't originally here on Koholan Island, so would you like to talk a little bit about what he's doing here and about maybe some of the inspiration behind the Chamber Dungeon? Dompe no s h o k a i to Mato Panel Dungeon, it's a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a あのね、このダンペさんって、えっと、時のオカリナから出てきてるキャラクターで
、えっと、墓守の,あの設定の人なんですけど今回、その人に新しくこう登場してもらってそこであの、えっと、パネルダンジョンという新しい遊びをあの体験してもらおうと思います。And so many of you may know, Dampe was maybe in,、uh, I think, Ocarina of Time, and he was a gravekeeper there.、Um, but in this game, he's going to be the one that introduces you to the new、uh, game called Panel Dungeons or Chamber Dungeons. Panel Dungeons is a puzzle of pieces that are made 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 of pieces. アレンジできるっていうそういう遊びでそのお題をですねこのダンペさんが出してくれるっていうそういう遊びになってます。And so what are cha-、um, chamber dungeons? So they are where you can create your own dungeons. If you complete a dungeon, you get pieces that you for each room that you cleared, and you can rearrange them to make your own dungeon. And so Dampe will be the one that introduces you to challenges in creating chamber dungeons. でダンジョンもねあのまあえっとユーザーがこう自分でアレンジできるって遊びは前からあの、えー、ゼルダにあの入れてみたいなってずっと思ってたんですけどあの、まあ、あの誰もができるようにするために難しいことを考えなくてもあのできるパズルを解くような感覚でやるとあのそれを解くと、えー、ダンジョンができるっていうねそういうあの遊びにしました。And so I've always wanted to create a way for players to create their own dungeon, but I didn't want to make it anything too hard. So, just like a puzzle or solving a puzzle, I wanted to make this、uh, chamber dungeon easy enough for people to play and feel like they're solving a puzzle.、Mm. Yeah, that's right. And you can see here, so I've started a little bit of a dungeon arrangement here. And the way these、uh, chambers are arranged, up at the top here, they're categorized in depending on how many doorways they have. So you can see here, these are all、uh, chambers that have one doorway,、uh, these are all chambers that have two, et cetera. And then you can see they're further categorized into where the, the doorways are、uh, exiting out of the chambers. So,、uh, a few things about dungeon arrangement in the chamber dungeon.、Um, you'll need to make sure that you have at least an entrance and a nightmare. Those are kind of the, the primary components of, of any dungeon. But also, you'll want to make sure that all of the doorways are connected to other doorways.、Um, so, you can't leave any of those、uh, just hanging or unfulfilled there. Um, so, you can see I'm starting to make a little bit of a dungeon arrangement here.、Uh, and you might notice a few other things. So,、uh, some of these chambers have、uh, icons on the underneath of them, and those give you an idea of the sorts of features that are available in this particular chamber. So, you can see this one has a treasure chest, and this one has a staircase, and some of them have locked doors. If you're using、uh, locked doors, you need to make sure that you include enough chambers to s- that with treasure chests to supply enough keys for you to get through all of those locked doors. And the way those stairways connect is really fun. Because、uh, what you can do is,、uh, if you use stairways, they'll automatically create a sub area that you'll have to go through between the two stairways. And that's one of those 2D side scrolling sections that Anuma san was talking about a little bit earlier. And you might see some fun enemies in there. But、uh, so this is like a Picross like puzzle. So the chamber dungeon, unlike any other dungeon before, you arrange these yourself. Um, but there, there are challenges. You have to go through this puzzle portion of the arrangement. And once you're finished with that, then you have to adventure through your dungeon. So the challenge comes in two parts.、Uh, the, the chamber dungeon can actually take a little bit of time to arrange.、Uh, like I said, it is a puzzle. So it takes some time to get through.、Um, so I'm not going to go through the entire thing、uh, just here. So I'm going to skip ahead to one that I have arranged previously. If, if, it's, if it works. <laughs> and, and you're very, very devious, so I'm sure that it's full、yeah. of all kinds of terrible, awful、yeah. things. <laughs> I'm seeming to have a, a little bit of issue with the controller here. Let me try and get that sorted out. But、uh, while, while we're doing, getting this、uh, figured out, I was wondering if、uh, Anuma san could talk a little bit about the Chamber Dungeon and how it mixes up the gameplay for someone who has already played through the, the Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. このパネルダンジョンの,あの追加であの過去にゲームを遊んだ方でも遊んでない方でもどのようなプレーをあの期待できますでしょうかそうですねあのオリジナルはあの、えー、遊ばれた皆さんの,あの
記憶に、ね、強く残るあのそういうゲームだったと思いますけど実はあんまり男女のことは覚えてない人が多いんじゃないかなと思うんですけど。So I know this game left a strong impression on many players, but honestly, I don't know if everybody remembers exactly how to play everything. <笑>で、あのえっとこのパラレルダンジョンってそのパズルを解くような形であの感覚でそのえっとダンジョンをアレンジするっていうお話をしましたけど、あのそこまで遊んできたダンジョンの記憶をもとに。あのそれであのダンジョンをこうアレンジするとですねまたちょっとこう面白いダンジョンが作れるんでえこれをこうあのえっと本編のダンジョンをクリアしながらこのあのパネルダンジョンも遊んでいくとそのダンジョンの記憶っていうのがすごく強く残るものになるんじゃないかなと思ってます。And so, as I mentioned earlier, this is just like figuring out a puzzle. So, if you go back to your memories of how you、uh, completed the dungeon and then play this dungeon as well, I think it will leave a very strong impression while you play. And also, if you play this while the you progress the main story, I think it will even, even leave a stronger impression.、Mm -hmm. All right, so we've got this up here now, and you can see、uh, now that there's a little green check mark there next to the fill up your hearts challenge. Well, I guess I should have explained that. Uh, uh, so, the, this particular challenge, you needed to fill in every single one of the empty tiles with a chamber.、Um, and so, this one I've already completed. You can see I've cleared it. And when you complete it, you get a clear time. And you'll see that that's seven minutes and 42 seconds right now. And one of the fun things that you can do with those clear times is you can challenge yourself. To, to、uh, beat your dungeon faster and faster. Or you could、uh, challenge a friend to see if they might be able to, to、uh, beat your dungeon in a faster time. So I was wondering if Anuma san, <laughs> <laughs> would you please、uh, play through this dungeon and, and see if you could please beat my clear time? Anuma san, can you play through this dungeon? So, I'd like to play through this dungeon. 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 That's a big ass, but I'll do my best. I'm a game developer, but I'm not very good at games. I'm a game developer, but I'm not very good at games. I'm a game developer, but I'm not very good at games. But I'll, I'll do my best. <laughs> This is a great rare treat for all of us. Yeah. Ainuma <laughs>、um, san, of course, has spent, I'm sure, many, many years、uh, thinking about the dungeon arrangement and the flow of a player's movements through a dungeon and about pacing the puzzles properly. So I'm really curious to see how he's going to get on with this dungeon where I've thought about none of yeah, those things. Yeah, how much time have you spent thinking about those things, Sam? <laughs> This was designed to torture other treehouse members. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> apologies. I, I admittedly、um, I did include some more devious elements here.、Uh, yeah, using the map is, is really an, an effective way to get through this particular dungeon. I'm not sure what I'm doing. I'm not sure what I'm doing. I'm not sure what I'm doing. いい感じですね。So I'm gonna go through that route and try to get that key over there that where you saw the cursor h u v e r i Okay. He's calling his shots. He's I like being it. He's strategic. I like yeah,、this. yeah. Ah! <laughs> 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 yeah, these guys could be really challenging.、Yeah. They're more like a timing puzzle almost. Yeah. <laughs> trying to defeat them. And, and as you mentioned,、uh, since it times your completion, it's a real fun and terrible treat to try and best your friend's time、right. beating a dungeon. He's doing, he's doing really he's well doing so really far. Well. So, yeah, I said.、Uh, I think my clear time again was like seven minutes, 42、yeah. seconds. So he's, <laughs> he's on a really good pace right now. I already got another key. But this is almost like a, a randomizer of sorts. So these are all familiar rooms. So you've seen these rooms in other dungeons.、Um, and and Dompe will create these, these chambers、mm -hmm. for you. And even though you know the puzzle, you may know the way through it, because they're all arranged in a completely different order, it's a new type of challenge. Yes,、mm -hmm. and that really adds someone, even if you're somebody who has memorized every corner of this game, all of those、uh, dungeons, those rooms become brand new when you or a friend has arranged them into something completely different. Right. Quickly dispatching all of those keys and finding yet another treasure chest. This isn't、It、his first Zelda rodeo. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. apparently not. <laughs> I think it's really funny,、uh, Anum san, that.、Uh, oh, he knew about your、uh, yeah. genius tricks. Sam. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love using those spinning blades because usually when you walk into a room in Zelda,、uh, you're, you're thinking about, okay, what kind of puzzle am I going to face here? What kind of. Am I going to have a challenging enemy that I'm、mm -hmm. going to need to battle? But with those spinning blades,、uh, the challenge really is just walking into the room. <laughs> <laughs> 
really can shake your confidence. Ah, uh, using the map again. I'm gonna check the map again. Yeah. Yeah, I was saying earlier, I think it's really funny oh. that uh, <laughs> that Anumasan uh, has Rock's feather on Y because the... The correct the, answer, Sam. Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> well, the, in Breath of the Wild, the jump button was X, so I always put Rock's feather on X. So <laughs> <laughs> so you could, uh, you know, avoid that enemy with jumping, but you know what? Sometimes you fail. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's he's making really great time through this dungeon. I love just pushing those enemies off the edge. Right. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> he might just beat your time, Sam. I, I'm just thinking. I'm point. thinking that's gonna happen. <laughs> so the the ooh. chamber. Ooh. Yeah, this room is a little bit challenging. So yeah, those chamber dungeon challenges come in two parts, and you're going to have different conditions that you need to fill for those challenges, for both the arrangement portion of the challenge, but also through the adventure portion of the challenge. Oh, oh nice! <laughs> Already! <laughs> My wow. goodness! Oh, he's only at two minutes. Yeah. Do you see that? I am. Uh, <laughs> I'm. I'm kind of uh, awestruck. I don't know. How to, oh no! <laughs> Oh, oh no! <laughs> 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 All right, you've got it. There you go. <laughs> he's oh. trying to make your time feel yeah. better, Sam. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's just delaying to try and make me feel better. <laughs> oh, he's I already at the, the boss. boss yeah, wow. he's already at the so nightmare. We're at the boss now. And this is a really fun one. Yeah. Uh, I like this guy. Yeah, this isn't <laughs> your uh, kind of standard hit him three times uh -huh. and, you're, and you're done kind of boss. Yeah, as we briefly mentioned, all of the characters, the bosses, the NPCs in this game are so unforgettable, right. so quirky. I like how they, yeah, they kind of talk to you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's giving Liu a little clue about what yeah. to do here. <laughs> Got a bit of an attitude on that one. But if I beat him, wouldn't it be a spoiler? Are we okay? <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, this is only for the, the the boss of the the second dungeon in the game, so I think maybe it's still early. Yeah, he's making really too. quick work of it. But I really like the sequence. He's using a technique, actually, that I've never seen before. He's staying really close to the boss and then getting mm -hmm. under the fireballs, yeah. which is not something that I've seen before. No, I think I the normal strategy yeah. is to get hit by lots of fireballs. Right. <laughs> yeah. That may be different from the original game, too, because this has more of a 3D feel to it. I don't right. Know. <laughs> no, that's yeah. true. I can tell you for sure. Oh. It's been 26 years. Oh, and he's in, the, he's in the second phase. Oh. Nice. Oh, I, didn't, I didn't know oh, you could you hit multiple my. times there. <laughs> am, am I doing pretty well? He's doing, doing great. Really yeah. well. <laughs> Go through my business. <laughs> I think you're making him angry, though. Yeah, he's got this. Is, he's going to laugh for you, I think. I, I was going to say, at this rate, he's going to shave <laughs> oh, four minutes off my time. Goodness him. gracious. Wow. <laughs> And that's how nice you do that. Nice work. Yeah. <laughs> nice story, work. Right. So and a new record. 50. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Completely obliterating job. my dungeon clear time. <laughs> Thank you so much for Good playing through that. Thank I appreciate you for it. Schooling us it doesn't Zelda. seem to have tripped you up all that much. Yes. <laughs> all right.